Hello friends, my name is John and welcome to my channel, uh, Grow to Learn. It's a place where you grow to learn, and uh, or at least learn by growing. And, you know, gain wisdom. That's about the only way to gain wisdom is by experience. You know, in which we're doing is experimenting and gaining wisdom by that. Uh, I wanted to show you something. Here, turn the camera around. Had a bunch of old gutters off of a shop building and uh, kept them for a while. And this is what I repurposed them for. It's made uh, planters all around the greenhouse. So this is a planter box, or turned out to be a planter box. It's a old gutter that's been cut into sections uh, in desired length. These are just just under four feet, I think like 47 and a half, just so they're working out <clears throat> to fit where they're fitting. Uh, but they're all the same. That way, there's no confusion except for the obvious <clears throat> small sections out there on top. But other than that, they're all the same, so you can mix and match and not worry about where they went. And the idea of not using the entire length of a gutter is that you can actually take this planter out if you needed to deal with it. Uh, it's very easily removable. So these are just end caps out of a fence board. They do split. It's only 5 8 uh, They were wet before, so the screw went in there. But now that they've dried, they've cracked. But they still hold very well, uh, and they stack they stack up against each other, so they hold that way. And uh, technically, should have holes here anyway, uh, or somewhere on the gutter to drain the extra water. <coughs> that way, the you don't get root rot. And uh, yeah, so that's a five eighths fence board. Just uh, set up a chop saw and cut a bunch of these. Uh, it actually goes very, very quick. If you have a template, just to cut one, one angle, you know, one part at a time. So if you're cutting them all to length, cut them all to length. Then cut this angle, cut all this angle. So it goes really quick. And you just slide in, and these self tappers just go right through the, through the metal, pretty easy. Uh, so assemble these very simple and very quick. And you know, cut it to whatever length. I mean, this is no big deal because the, if there's any pressure, holds that way. I guess you can uh, pre-drill each hole, but I know it's cracked. But if it falls out, I can always replace it. It's just there's a lot, a lot to do and very little time. So I decided to plant vertically on the wall that's not used anyway because I have eco blocks here so I couldn't plant anything up against it unless it was in pots and then the use of the gutters makes sense right here they just uh, stack against each other the there's a clip it's kind of tight now but a piece of sheet metal that just slides over the two holds them in place and just a little angle A little angle that holds the gutter in place so it doesn't tip over. And I'm not sure which varieties I have, but I have about five different varieties uh, over time. I'm not really sure what the names are either because um, just I got it through through friends and now that they've all mixed in I have no idea so I planted everything out that I had all the shoots whatever was left and uh, I'm just gonna try out and see which ones I want to keep if I don't like it right away I'll just pull it out and get rid of it and just only leave the ones I want 
I have a, a sprinkler or watering system here that I just need to hook up to and just create a little drip line on each row where it's automatic and then any extra water would just leak out the ends of them the water would just seep out right at the end it's actually kind of easy to know if it's dried out just by looking at it because the wood is is wet at the bottom that tells you that you know there's still moisture there if it's bone dry uh, then you know that there's no moisture in the in the soil but uh, in general it should work you know everything's just gonna hang off you know up down to the up to this you know gutter here and then the next one next to that one that one and so on but we'll find out you know if it what we need to change that's the beauty about it you know just grow and see uh, adjust you know in between that's the fun of it But yeah, so this is uh, one good way to use any uh, leftover gutters or repurposed gutters from other projects or just your own gutters off, off of the house that you live in. If you're replacing them, just don't toss them if you plan to plant anything. I mean, you can do this outside as well on a little, uh, you know, just make, make a little frame out of two by material, two by fours, and just hang it screw it down to the two by fours in kind of similar fashion uh, like a Christmas tree you can do it on two sides you can do it on four sides but it does the same purpose hopefully here in the greenhouse it grows much quicker so I just just got them in the ground last week and they look like they're doing pretty good they started to dry up outside. So here, they're coming out. It was, it was a really dry one there and it's making it recover pretty good. So we'll yet to see, see how this does a little bit later. We'll, we'll show more progress. But you can use uh, tubing if you have any uh, six inch tube you can cut holes on top. I mean, there's so many ways of doing this. You can do vertical pipe, uh, especially if you have a, a little larger diameter pipes, you can stack them high and you can just drill hole saw holes in them and just plant all along the pipe and, you know, and maybe put a, put some uh, irrigation lines inside and, you know, have it kind of seep water from the top and let it permeate downwards and water the plants. You can use old tires and stack them up in, in, in a way where it makes a big uh, stacked pyramid with exposing you know half circles where you can put plants into. And the black tires uh, would attract heat and kind of radiate into the soil, warm it up quicker, everything will grow faster. I uh, just got to make sure you don't forget to water because when you stack up soil vertically it drains quicker, uh, it dries quicker. So you need to do a lot more watering or maybe use uh, like uh, perlite or vermiculite in, uh, in your soil to uh, something to basically hold moisture, retain it. Let me know in the comments if you uh, have any suggestions. You know, but this is the way I grow my stuff. You know, it's not, there's, there's no perfect way of doing anything. You kind of do what you, what you have and use what you have uh, and then adjust from there. 
you know, there's so many different channels. There's so much information out there, but you can't, I mean, everybody says a different thing. So you can't really take anybody's opinion. You can't even take my opinion. I mean, my opinion is just my opinion. Uh, I, I try this way and if it works, it works. If it's going to work for me and if you like it, you know, try it for yourself. If it works for you as well, then, you know, great. If it doesn't work, then maybe look for other ways of doing something. But I am just showing and uh, describing what works for me and how I do things. And then, you know, I'm, I might, or I probably do a lot of things that probably shouldn't do, maybe, or in the way that I do things that uh, might not be exactly how everybody else does it. But that's my way, and if I fail, then I, I fail, I change. You know, I just learn from mistakes, and those usually are the best ways, you know, to learn. So that's why, you know, I go by saying, uh, grow to learn. You know, grow something and learn. If you don't grow it, how can you learn how to grow it when you've never grown anything? You know, um, yeah, you walk to learn to walk. You don't learn about walking. So you just go out there and you just start doing something. You fall, you get hurt, you get up, keep walking. You know, eventually you start walking and running. So that's how it works. Same thing with growing. You plant and you see. You know, if somebody gives you advice, uh, you can take it. But just because it worked for them or that's what they did, it might not work for you. I mean, you might have other situations or circumstances and you know just that's how life is experiment you know you can't you can't always uh, maybe in the perfect world you can replicate the exact outcome by doing something but you know in growing there's so many factors involved with nature besides what you do you only do what you can and you know and then nature does the rest I mean the only thing is you can do exact is in the lab, you know, where the environment is completely controlled. So here we just experiment, you know, and then change as needed. There's no, I mean, there are clear wrong ways to do something, you know, you can't plant upside down clearly, right? That's a wrong way, but you can plant and observe what it does. You know, there's advice from some people you can try using the advice. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's good advice, but if you can see in reality, uh, what somebody does and if it works for them and it works for you and that's what you do so try it and see what happens you know, my name is John and then one, one more video I'm here with you uh, showing you a few things that I'm doing for other videos you can go to my channel and uh, see if, if something that you're interested in or if you're doing you know, check it out. And if there's anything useful for yourself, use it. If not, leave comments and we'll go from there. My name is John. Grow and learn. See you on the next video.